Today we are going to see how to create a banner without using the banner widget. Once you have defined where you want to place the banner, you have to select the proper selector, the proper element. From the contextual menu, click on add and add an image. Then you upload the image. And here you go, you have your image that is displayed. Now we have a problem. It's not taking the full width of its parent element. So let's change this through the edit style feature by removing its actual width and replacing it with 100%. So this banner will be totally responsive. Now let's make our banner clickable by adding a link onto it. So select the image, open the contextual menu and click on add, add the link. Then paste the URL and click on save changes. That's it. That's how you create a banner without using the banner widget. Only with three types of modification, add a link, edit style and add an image. Now you may want to use the banner widget for some reason. That reason could be using the triggering system, the recurrent system or both. So select the free placement layout, position your widget exactly where you want it to be. And once you're done, you will have to paste the URL, select the whole widget is a link. This is really important. And you can remove all the styling that you want. We are going to fast forward all the styling changes. In the conditions tab, select the triggering you want and the recurrence you want, depending on your needs. You have to fully configure a widget before adding an image into it and removing its original text. You already know how to add an image. Select the element in which you want to add the image and then add an image. Once you're done, now it's time to remove the text. So let's select the text and click on hide, hide the element. Here again, the image may need some adjustment in terms of width. Here you go. Now you know how to add a banner with or without using the banner widget. 